Hey guys, Running Kimono, and even before we dive into my haul today, we're going to talk really quickly about the Fetch Rewards app of all the apps. This one is my favorite. Check out the link in the notes. Use my referral code. It's right there on the screen. When you photograph your first receipt, you're given 2,000 points for anything that you bought in the last week, an Egg McMuffin or a pack of gum or like maybe one of these awesome hauls at Walgreens. It is an app that all of you should be using. Even for stuff like groceries, you're going to be earning towards gift cards. So how awesome is that? This morning, guys, I went and bought um, some Dove men's deodorant and I got 50 points. Hey, that's something. And then I also got some um, Scott's toilet paper and that added up to another 50 points. For new signups only, check out the link and don't forget to use my referral code and photograph a receipt today. Gift cards start at $3 and $5, so you probably could get yourself a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks coffee this afternoon if you photograph a bunch of receipts. It is a tremendous app. Um, three transactions today. Definitely watch before you shop because there's a lot of snags and snafus in uh, some of these transactions where things were not going the way that they should. What I was seeing with my transactions today were that digital coupons were not coming off. So I actually had to call customer service, which I did right away. Um, I had a $5 for this that did not come off. I had a five off of this one that did not come off. And then my $8 for the um, Oral-B did not come off. So the lady at uh, customer service really took good care of me today. She was so, so nice and just credited the 18,000 back on my store card. I'm working with five different boosters on my store card, so I had to do five different transactions. Obviously, I tried to do three today, and um, one of these, it was such a snafu that the booster didn't even come off, but customer service made it right for this one. Um, and then two of the boosters I used was a five off of 20 and then 5% off of a $18 purchase. So again, guys, as I explained, I only used two of these boosters because the first one, there was a huge problem with the digital coupon, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm only doing five of these this week. I had the opportunity to load nine. I'm only going with five because like a 10% off of a $30 basket. It's just not really worth my time. Okay, guys, so um, the, the issue that I ran into was, I think, to do with a line limit where these boosters have to have a, a special item, like there needs to be a filler item scanned so it'll attach to something. So I think that's if I could prognosticate, I think that's why my digital coupon three times for three transactions, it didn't attach. And uh, the percentage, like that's why the percentage offs or whatever, the five off of 20 were not coming off. That's my guess, but it's also Sunday and sometimes there's little hiccups at Walgreens. What I would recommend if you're gonna go shopping today, grab a filler item, scan that first and then scan the merchandise that has digital coupons that are attaching they have been doing stuff with their um, app and then the different you know updates and all that stuff so grab something cheap for the examples here I'm going to show a Snickers bar but you can use this or the 57 cent um, um, suckers whatever you want to buy um, but just that's how I would do it and I have because I really think that they've changed things around where before you didn't need an item and now you need it to grab a line on the receipt. And if you don't understand what line limits are, and this is way, way over your head, you might run into issues like me where you'll have to call customer service. You might wait till uh, Tuesday or Wednesday if this thing gets hammered out. But there are some bugs, and I did notice that in all three of my transactions today. We're like, well, where's the Love Beauty Planet? Um, I did not include it because I think there was like one bottle left at my store. Somebody hit it really hard. And the Clairol I'm going to do maybe um, tomorrow or the next day. Um, I don't really use a lot of hair dye and this stuff is hard to store. So I'm going to have to donate it after I buy it right away because I don't want this stuff to go bad. And you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not too jazzed up about hair dye. So um, what I did, guys, was I went for some other stuff in this transaction. So but rest be assured, I will have something with Love Beauty Planet and the hair dye. I'm going to go to a different store to do these dealios. Kind of a cold and gloomy one here today in uh, Michigan and uh, our little stray kitty showed up for some food and she's usually trying to come like one or two times a day. So my husband fed her this morning and look what a little angel. She looks a lot like our other cat, Suzu. So we're thinking they might be sisters and she just wants to say hi to you guys and hi to my mom as well. Hope you guys are all having a good day. So my Walgreens.com order came in, which are these Vapo Drops, the 20 counts. And they were, I think, like 15 cents after everything was said and done. So I'm really happy about these. And I just picked them up today. And another item that you guys should absolutely pounce on is the Penrosa hand sanitizer. Today is the last day. 
You basically go to your big lots, the digital coupon will be on your store card. You don't have to load anything. Get the cashier to scan your store card or punch in your phone number at checkout. And this um, hand sanitizer that is 16.9 ounces this is a complete freebie this weekend. And today, which is October the 4th, is the last day for this. And this is a big thing of hand sanitizer. Make your way to the big lots because we never see deals for free hand sanitizer. The action that we're going to talk about is the Dove deodorant. Um, I'm going to explain what happened and um, I'm going to explain how you should do it with a filler item. So these deodorants are $4.99 a pop. So for four of them, that's $19.96. I have a 25% off of $18 purchase that would have worked for this beautifully. Um, but the five off of four digital coupon was not attaching because I had a ladies deodorant initially. Now, I just subbed it out for four men's ones and it should have scanned because the barcode was saying, hey, it's going to work. It still wasn't attaching. So the cashier modded one of them so the $5 would be off. However, I couldn't use the percentage off because my basket was too small. So customer service just gave me 5,000 points. So kind of a um, somewhat of a <laughs> bad thing, but they made it right. Um, I bought us giving back $2.50 for three, so that's $7.50 back. How I would do this, if I could do it again, is I would pick up a filler item, so this for a buck, and then these four. Get the cashier to scan this first, then the four items. So that would be a total of $20.96. $4.25 would come off for your 25% off, plus the five off of four, hopefully. So your new total would be $10.72. I would use 10,000 points and uh, pay down the difference, which is 72 cents plus tax, and then claim 250 back from Ibotta three times to get your 750 back, which is a really great um, deal for Dove deodorant. And then Fetch Rewards also gave me back 50 points for this purchase. So hopefully that's crystal clear. And for me, I paid an extra five, but customer service gave me back an extra five, so I got the deal at the end of the day. But definitely grab this filler, because I have the sneakiest suspicion that the line limit is messed up somehow, or it's part of their new program changes or whatever, that those boosters are actually taking up a line now on the receipt. Next deal that we have is with the Roto. Um, and I'm just gonna explain this deal um, how you should do it. Um, basically, I had to call customer service because this $5 coupon, the manufacturer, did not come off. So what I would do, guys, is get the cashier to scan a, a filler item first. It could be a snicker, it could be an iced tea, just something cheap, you know, that's what a filler item is. Then this guy for $8.29, this guy for $12.79, and the conde. So that would be a total of $22.08. Now I had a five off of 20 booster that came off and then the $3 came off for this one. The five for this one did not. So I paid an extra five bucks. If it does come off, you will pay 908 out of pocket. If you want to use points, go for it. And then I bought is giving back $3 for this guy and $5 for this. So that's another $8. It would shake this out to $1.08 for you. And just to explain how customer service fixed this for me, because I did pay an extra five because my manufacturer did not come off for this one. Um, they just credited me 5,000 points, which was like super duper. So this last transaction, um, it's still a dumpster fire for me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna explain what I did. And obviously something's not working with some of these digital coupons today um, because 
Um, I did not have any coupon for these Easter bags, but yet it still didn't let my Adolf of four attach for this. So I'm just gonna jog you through what I did. Maybe the best thing to do again is to wait till Monday till things get squared away. Um, these are buy one, get two for free on these zipper bags and uh, $2.79 for the first, two will be completely free. That's a really great promotion. These toothbrushes, two get one for free. And we have a digital coupon that showed up this morning, which is an eight off of four. So that coupon did not attach for whatever reason for this transaction. And then the Scott's is $5. And then we have this in the big book of savings found on page eight, scan that guy. Why I specifically wanted to grab these is there's a dollar rebate back for the first three on Ibotta plus a 25 cent rebate. And if I do this twice in one week, I'll get back an extra dollar 25 on my next Ibotta rebate. So it's even better. So just to go through this guys, um, what I did here, um, the freezer bags are 279, five buckos for that. And then 1497 for the three oral bees. So that's a subtotal of $22 and 76 cents. Got the cashier to scan the IBC for the Scott. And then my 25% off of 18 came off for this transaction. So 509 came off. I had one $5 register reward from a couple weeks back that I presented for this offer. And then the eight off of four digital for the Oral-B did not come off. So I had to pay a total of 1022. What I did guys was I used 10,000 points and paid the change. But if your eight off of four, in fact, comes off for this, you should be paying like 342 out of pocket. And then I made a submission to Ibotta, um, a dollar back for the three Oral-B toothbrushes and then a quarter back for that. And if you do it twice in two transactions in one week, you will get back, I think, um, $1.25 on your second, which is really great. Now, I, again, I called... Okay guys, so um, as you can see, customer service accredited me 18,000 points and I made one phone call, three errors and three transactions and they threw it all on my store card. I'm not making like all different phone calls, but they really made this happen for me and the lady who was on the phone was like so, so, so nice. And we, she was kind of chatty and I think there are problems today with digital coupons because I was not the first person to call this morning about that, but I was super nice. She was super nice and uh, came to a really good resolution. I think after everything said and done for my entire haul today, guys, this was just under $9 out of pocket if I was paying cash. So it would shake out each item to like 60 something cents per maybe use the snickers uh thing or some sort of filler item if you wanted to do that to see if that might work um i will try and do some hair hair color or the love beauty planet deal um i just did not have the inventory today to do it so i will uh, get on that probably on monday or tuesday but i'm very pleased with my haul because this is meat and potato stuff that you de absolutely need for your household for the winter months as always Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you're having similar issues like yours truly. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious, was it just me or are you guys having a similar issues today? As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye guys.